by two. There's the switch. Go Bears out there. Doncic maneuvers for the lead. Got it. Got it. What a shot. Dallas has taken the lead. Wow. So the Eastern Conference Finals just finished and there's a lot to talk about about both of these series despite there only being one win between the Indiana Pacers and the Minnesota Timberwolves. These were exciting series despite if you just looked at how how they ended 4-1, 4-0, you'd think these were boring series but you would be horribly mistaken. So first up we're going to talk about the Indiana Pacers Boston Celtics series and this was a very intriguing series despite the Boston Celtics absolutely sweeping the Indiana Pacers it really deserved better and mostly to Indiana choking three games one game one game three and game four where you probably felt like they had won it but Boston's Boston and they came back so Indiana completed some choke jobs but we'll get into that now Simple equation. Andrew Nemhard inbound the ball. Siakam gets it, knocks down a couple free throws, and they win the game in Boston. But no, ball goes out of bounds. Give Boston one more chance. Comes off Siakam, and bad turnover when the game was in your hands. And here, Jalen Brown coming off in the corner, knocks that down, and the Boston Celtics will send it to overtime. And in the end, the pace is choking over time. Jason Tatum with some big buckets for the for the Celtics to win the game and take a 1-0 series lead. Now into Game 3. Surely the Pacers learned the lesson. No, Drew Holiday, of all people, bodies Siakam, who's five inches taller, and gets an N1. And then, down by three, Boss Indiana runs... A football play, which works, gets a pretty open shot, but nice Neesmith can just not nail it. So Boston, Indiana chokes again, and Boston wins again. And then in game four, trying to get the sweep, Boston just has a Jalen Brown takeover in the last quarter to get them the win, and ultimately he deserved the Eastern Conference Finals MVP. And, yeah... Over to the Mavs Timberwolves series. Um, this game will go one further and go to a game five with Minnesota being able to take game four on the road. But this series was really just a Luca special. I mean, he just he just made Rudy Gobert look like a clown. Um, he recreated the Devin Booker meme with Anthony Edwards and this Minnesota team that. Just beat the reigning champions. Got absolutely dogged by Luka and the rest of the Mavs. Team performance, but Luka definitely the standout. Luka with the four-time defensive player of the year. Now I'm just going to put him on skates and hit this buzz, this game winner in game two to put them out too and talk so much trash. I mean, Luka played, talked so much trash, but he had performances to back it up and... After this, Bozovidi had a crazy after-game interview talking about what Trashy said to Rudy Gobert, and it's funny as. Sorry? He can't F and guard you? Who said that? <laughs> you said that. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> I was speaking Slovenian. <laughs> uh- and then in the closeout game five, I just t- saw this guy turn to Prime Steph Curry. I mean, a logo shot shouldn't be easy. But it is for Luka Doncic. I mean, he had 20 points in this first quarter. I was watching this in school, and, like, we were just, like, going off. Like, how does this guy just make this look so easy? 20 points in the first quarter, and really after the first quarter, the Dallas just put it on, and he didn't really have to do much after that. And Luka obviously won the finals MVP because if they gave it to someone else... I don't know what was happening, but this man is going to the NBA Finals, missing the playoffs last year, but they basically tanked, and now they're going to the Finals. So, great for Luka. And I, this Boston Mavs series is going to be so good, especially if he gets up to some of the antics he was in the Timberwolves series. Shout out to Pacers and Timberwolves for making these series fun, despite 
the finishing ends. And, yeah, until next time, peace.